Hey everyone, Brian here again. Uh, going through my collection, this is going to be mostly my Marvels. So this is actually going to be all my Marvels. Uh, it's going through pretty much A through C. Um, I've got about maybe 50 comics to go through, so I'll kind of speed it up. I'm not going to do everything that I have. Uh, I'm just going to kind of get some of the key comics that I have for Silver Age and Bronze Age. I actually even got a couple modern uh, comics in here with some variants and stuff. So uh, yeah, first one I've got here, Adventure into Fear. Number 10, man thing appearance here on the cover. Adventures into Fear, number 19. This thing was, when that Howard the Duck came out, that damn thing, this thing blew up for some reason. Um, but it's kind of died down from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, Adventures into Fear, number 19. Uh, this is one to look out for here. Astonishing Tales, number 6. Here we go, Astonishing Tales number 13. Get into my Avengers. Got Avengers number two. I actually got this one, uh, I did a, a, a yard sale at my house and a guy came through and, and saw that I had some comics and uh, I had a remote control truck out there that I was gonna probably sell for 100 bucks, 150 bucks. But I had $350 on it, so the guy's like, hey, I've got an Avengers number two, would you be willing to trade? So I looked at it and I was like, well, shit, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, and this one's probably about maybe a five, maybe a five, five, fine minus or something like that. So, yeah, Avengers number two. Avengers number 11, with the old Spider Man appearance on the cover. He looks a little different there with the, uh, I don't know what the hell he's got on his eyes there, but Avengers number 11. Here's Avengers 21, first appearance of Power Man. Here is Avengers 22. I think that's the origin. Uh, here's 40. It's got the Submariner appearance on it. Here is 47. It's got Magneto. Here's 48. I think this is the first appearance of Black Knight. Number 49. Number 52. This has to do, I think, with the origin of Black Panther. Here's 53. This is uh, the reason I picked this one up is it's got um, the X-Men cross over there. But I've been trying to get runs of all the like Avengers and of all the Silver Age, I'm trying to get them from, from one that, you know, some of them are kind of out of range, but trying to get as early as I can with Avengers and uh, Daredevil, uh, pretty much all the the um, older Silver Age comics. So this one's 54 right here. I think this is the first cameo of Ultron. You can't go 54 without 55. Here is 56. And then 57, that's the first appearance of Vision. And then here's 61. Alright, here go some of my variants, my modern variants. This is variant of uh, X plus, or A plus X. It's a 1 in 20 variant. There's another variant. I don't know how many how many issues this one represents, but uh, I think it's a lower, like maybe a 1 in 10 or something like that, but this has got the Hulk cover on it. This one I believe is a 1 in 200 sketch variant. This one's a 1 in 25 variant. And then some of these uh, Bronze Age I just kind of pick up because I like the covers on them. Here goes Beware 1, 2, and 4. Actually, let me get this over here a little bit. Yeah, there's 1, 2, and 4. Love the color covers on those. Nice looking covers. 
And then got two of the old Black Panthers. This one's in a little bit rougher shape. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that one's got some fading. Actually pretty bad on it, but yeah, Black Panther number one. Picked up the old Black Panther number two. And again, in my Captain America. This is another one I'm trying to get some of the older, earlier Silver Age runs. That's number 101. I've got 100 CG seed. This is 109. It's the origin retold right here. There's 110. Got the old Captain America fighting the Hulk. There's number 117. First appearance of the Falcon. That's one I love the cover on. Anything doing with Spider Man here, I, I just, to me, that looks badass. It's Captain America 137. 180 is first appearance of Nomad. This one's actually kind of in rough shape. It's got a lot of fading, and but I don't even remember what I paid for it. it. Looks like probably a flea market buy or something. But there's another variant, 100 or one in 125. Captain America Reborn. Here goes Captain Marvel number one. Captain Marvel number two, and this one's not a key. I just I just love the cover on it. The green really pops, I like that one. I've got 23, 25, 26. I'll throw 27 in there too. Yeah, 28 and 29. So yeah, oh Captain Marvel. And this one right here, I forget what this is. Uh, this one's becoming pretty hot. I I don't know if if anybody's looked on eBay on the prices on these things, but they're they're going from anywhere from 30 to 60 bucks depending on where you look. Yeah, this is Captain Marvel number 17, and this is a second print, which is a lower print run, so uh, if you happen to see this one out and you can get it for a decent price, um, it be a good pickup. Another Bronze Age Champions, number one. It's got the Ghost Rider on it there. Old Silver Surfer. All right. We got Conan Barbarian number one. We got number three, which is supposed to be a low distribution. This one, I, Conan, I got. I'm missing number two, but pretty much I've got one through one 100 plus. Uh, Creatures on the loose. This is number ten. Getting into the Daredevil. This is Daredevil number seven. This is a first uh, where he changes into his red suit. This one's beat to hell though. I, yeah, I've got this one at a 3-0, so it's it's pretty fucked up, but it's got color breaks everywhere on it. Here's Daredevil number 16. Got the old Spider-Man appearance. It's got a lot of a lot of spine wear on it. Not the highest grade. Here goes 18, first gladiator. Number 27. Number 43. Number 77. This has got Spider Man and Submanner on the cover. Number 
168, first Electra. And Baby's First Deadpool book. I picked this one up. I don't know why the hell I picked this one up, but... Um, yeah, number one, it's, I don't know what the hell the deal is with this book, but uh, it, it, it goes for probably about 50 or 60 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for it back back when I bought it, but it was probably about the going rate for it. But yeah, the old Deadpool. And then I got two comics I got in today, and I'm not going to open them. They've already been opened. I know these videos get kind of stupid when you're sitting here waiting for somebody to open a comic, but Daredevil number 33. Uh, this one looks like it's got a little bit of overwrap, but overall pretty good shape. And I've been dying to get this one. I just love the cover on that Fire Lord. Thor number 225. And the guy had it at a 7 0, and I pulled it out and looked at everything, and it looks, it looks pretty decent. It's got a little spine tick there, but and one up here, but actually another one up here, too, so. But it, it's, to me, a 7-0. But that's all I've got. Um, I'll do some more videos to start getting through uh, my D-Zone up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you.